What do you think about youth and gang violence in America, especially in the black communities and Hispanic communities? Youth and gang violence. Um, I think, I'm, I'm gonna get a lot of flack for it. I think gangs can be positive. It just has to be organized and has to stay away from being self-destructive to being self-productive. Remember before all that, Bobby Sills, he renewed them, started protecting it and, and, and guarding their own family and friends. And we just try to base all things behind that philosophy and Malcolm and well, Elijah, you know, himself. Nation Islam. So, you know, each one teach one, and each one protect one. What I respect about the black space, those gangs didn't harass old people, they protected them. They didn't beat up on regular people, they only fought other gangs. They was protecting the hood. What's up, man, to the people, how everybody, we good. And listen, man, um, being that, um, you know, we, uh, we come from a heritage of all, you know, black spades, young spades, baby spades, and this is the project that birthed a gang called the Spades, right? All right, all right. Our well, thing is this: we we we, we speak on hip hop, right? We all speak right. on the shit as hip hop get down, how it started. We got all these versions about how it started, but we really know it it, it, it started from there. We know it, right. but you know that's that that's that's still there because it's gonna have other people's opinion. What I really want to do is talk about the youth of today. Mm -hmm. That's more to me is more important than what we did or what we doing and what we taking. Right. Because if you look at it, if we are the creators, whoever it is, between Spanish, blacks, all that, that's talking about it to this day, mm -hmm. to we they on drink champs and all that, right. talking about, I don't have nobody talking about these youths, man, that's coming out the same games that we came out of that culturized hip hop. Right. And look where it took it to drill music. Mm. And hip hop was born for everybody to have entertainment and all that, have peace of mind and all that, whatever it was born from us. Right. Then it born somewhere else, which is the Spanish cultures, the whatever, however it, it, it elaborated right. towards the future. Right. But now the same thing that all of us, Spanish, blacks, Panamanians, Jamaican, put in the creation is being d demolished mm. by drill music, which is drill music is good. I guess it is for the people that likes it. Okay. But what is taken from us is the same culture that we began with. Mm. Our youth, that's where hip hop came from, youth. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, kids, to preteens, however you want to put it. If it was my brother and them, us, bound, bound, bound. Cool. But if we all did decide, uh, somehow create this not knowing we was going to do this, where do anybody speaks up for something that they created that put that to this day is taking care of their families, right. taking care of their communities, taking care of all that. I'm not here to preach about this man, I'm concerned. Right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm very concerned mm. because it's to a point now. How I see it on on TV all over the place. They don't even have respect for the old people. I get it. Your gang coach. I get it. But in gang coach, you know why you made a gang? Do you ever even ask yourself why you even joined the gang? Mm. See, because from my experience. I joined the gang because of the simple fact of peer pressure, mm. of wanting to be a part of, and also I, can't, I joined it for a family kind of orientation kind of thing. Right. You know, my brothers on brothers taking care of each other, and we rose through racism. It was, they call it jungle bunnies, uh, uh, right. uh, spare truckers, spare truckers. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Police used to even run up on us and say, oh, you spare truckers got knives on you? We check yeah. for knives. We were whipping their ass. Seriously? Whipping their ass. We were whipping.
they add the Caucasians, the whiteies. First, we started on this block. Yeah. <laughs> We started on this block. Then we went through the park. Then we went to Monroe. We went to Monroe. What you mean, fighting? Yeah. The Caucasian yeah, what? Get, what? Damn right. This is the only place where black will not get it beat up. In Bronxville. In Bronxville. And we rose through racism to fight racism to make our communities and all that a better place. I'm not just talking about me now. Don't see. Don't don't think I'm out of lines. I'm not doing that. I'm talking about on a whole. Mm -hmm. Bronstell Project, any other project that created something. But it went into hip hop. And the same thing that we created, it's, it, it, it's tearing it down. Mm. And ain't nobody saying nothing. All right. All right. I mean, you got platforms all over this place. Man. Right. I don't have nobody, only probably, but uh, don't mean to mention your name. A couple of, you know, platforms out here speaking on our youth. Right. You see what I'm saying? Because this is where hip hop came from, our youth. Right. And, yo, you're killing each other. Yo, you turn gangs into genocide. Mm -hmm. This is not hurting each other, shooting each other. I did all that shooting, you know, but I ain't never genocide, man. Mm -hmm. I, I was formed into trying to genocide, but I caught it at a young age. Cause I told you we was, behind, we was ahead of our time. Mm. That's why we caught it. And then we had older brothers and sisters and all that to pull out close to the situation that's really taking part in this this whole creation, man. Mm. This is not good for not, listen, I'm not talking about outside people, the uh, Caucasian, the Spanish, the Latins, whatever you want to call the other ethnic groups, talking about for black people. Mm. Not even black people, we call ourselves kings and queens, right? Mm. So when, well, how we, how we got princes and princesses that don't even, they ain't even gonna make it to be kings and queens. Mm. They're not gonna get there, not the way it's going. We almost didn't get there. I'm not, now don't get me wrong, I'm not even blaming them. I'm blaming us. That's why I'm speaking on it. Because right. I'm blaming us. Because right. we didn't do our job. Right. So that's why they can't do this. Right. And, I, and I respect, you know, the uh, situations. You know, you got your ops, you got all that. But listen. You're not going to do, listen, if you want to get into a thing called hip hop and you make all this money, all this, this all this money right. that we, Spanish, Blacks, Jamaicans, Puerto Rican, put together to right. make hip hop. Because right. we put it together. Because right. each one taught one. Okay. As, as one started, the beginning, from the beginning to, to now. Okay. It had to be points. Right. You see what I'm saying? Started here, started there, started there. What's up, Polo? Right? I love you, man. Right? It, it had to start. So once it started, right? Okay. And we and we and we went and we went and we went. Now it's here. Now what about the dudes that before it got to drills? You know what I mean? The older ones, because that's a certain point too. That's a, that's a certain phase right there. That's a certain phase right. to get to drills. Once it took it to drills to Chicago, to Minneapolis, wherever it went. Sorry. Right? How you doing, man? How you doing? Excuse me. Right? From wherever it went, right? What I'm trying to say is, you telling me, because where I, where I come from, that's the bag. Hmm. That's what y'all talk about the bag, right? Y'all getting ready to lose that whole bag, man. Hmm. I'm talking about it, 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 if it keep going this way, it won't be no bag hmm. for nobody. It's going to not exist, believe me. Just like we created it, it wasn't existing hmm. before we created it. Right. It won't exist. Hmm. I'm telling you, it will not exist. It will be like it was there one time and it's gone. And they will flip the narrative to it. Listen, they're going to flip the narrative. When I say they, y'all know what I'm talking about. 
because you're not you're not um uh expanding and, and, and creating more money. You're creating more problems, mm. and problems don't co- don't bring money. Mm. Problems don't bring money. You know right. what I mean? Money brings problems. Mm. You, you see what I'm saying? So if you keep no man, no man, I, okay, mm. man, have a nice day, right? And if you don't understand, because once they take it from you, it's over. How can gangs be positive in the community? Regulate our community. If you got somebody dealing drugs in the community, make them pay for the community center. Make them have hours that they can work on that block. You know what I mean? Um, And if they don't want to listen, then you turn against them. Um, Be security in your own neighborhood. You know what I mean? If we so strong as gangs and as, as hustlers and as G's and as thugs or whatever, it should be no rapes, there should be no violence, there should be no gunshots in our community unless we the ones sparking it, unless we doing that to somebody that's trying to infiltrate or break down our community. We protect this project. You protect this? That's true. That's true. They we protect this project. Our parents, our parents become our sign and have to worry about all the gunshots and all that shit. Yeah, no, we didn't have that gunshot. That's right, man. We didn't have that. They ain't allow it. Nope. They ain't allow it. Nope.